Hey everybody, welcome back to another devlog for field warning. Apologies for being radio silent for about six months, but we've been very busy just doing a lot of under the hood changes and uh, migrating to a new renderer. So that was the reason for for the silence basically because it was just an enormous amount of work that you know uh, when you had to finalize and it's still in the process but I figured it's it's good to let you know what we're doing you know just to keep up with the process but basically since the last video uh, Fade and Sandman they went crazy and uh, Xcardo as well here there's just so many of these commits that I don't understand because they're all code related so there's no point in me trying to explain this uh, in depth, but the gist of it is uh, there's a new loading screen and um, the way the, the terrain is being loaded now is uh, much more efficient. So once we have our pathfinding and graph generated, uh, the map basically takes two seconds to load, which is incredible. Um, hopefully when we fill out the whole map, that uh, performance is still going to be up to speed, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of minor things like that, which, I mean, you can take a look here by yourself if you programmer and understand this, but the most important thing out of this whole um, commit thing, that you know, there's no point in me showing you all of this, but it, it's just a lot, so if you want to take a look, you can go to the repository, uh, read it yourself, but most important thing is there is a networking prototype, so Fade actually built um, multiplayer basics here, as you can see he has two editors open and he's moving units on one editor and he's buying units on the other and they're synchronized so this is very basic obviously but this is the first step to actually getting multiplayer working so it's it's yeah quite impressive actually it's very early on uh, I mean for a volunteer team so to speak but yeah um, it's the first step towards that we're working hard on on the prototype that we have envisioned who knows how long it'll take but uh, incrementally we're, we're doing it we're getting there slowly but yeah this is this is an enormous step in in the right direction so um, yeah I don't know why he's on the old scene but uh, I guess for testing purposes it's easier for him but yeah and they shoot each other as you can see through network this is just one editor and another but you know the basis is there and that's the most important thing right now uh, aside from that, we're actually, oh yeah, another thing I wanted to show you is there's new custom UI icons and of course um, we will have the ability to pick your own icons so you don't have to use mods and uh, naturally the first thing that Fade did is this, so that's excellent of course. Um, anyways, the other most important thing is that uh, currently I am testing out the new uh, rendering pipelines so this is on HDRP because we had mm, like a lot of issues with ter terrain I wasn't happy with how it looked it looked really cartoonish even though like we got the assets to look decent in the last um, update video I made and I did say that the graphics would probably not improve past that point but man <laughs> I jumped on this new renderer and it, it just it's so much better so here we have some new units we've been working on uh, ignore the LOD loading I haven't adjusted the, um, the distance for that but yeah we have some new units here for the NATO forces it's uh, like a knockoff of the boxer APC and yeah we got different variants for them also made some commas and panzers for the Russians uh, we have some new particle effects here I've just been messing around it still looks basic but it's a start and yeah on HDRP this looks the lighting is just so much better and you can see how it interacts with the environment as well so now this scene is completely broken because I still have to redo the trees and all that but um, in the future we will move to this new rendering pipeline because uh, it allows us to do much more creative things to terrain wise that we are uh, very limited with doing with the previous uh, terrain shader and uh, the legacy render so yeah given some time we'll do that because i know in the last update video i said we will open up the the map to the community so you guys can come in make your own towns paint fields and stuff to just help us fill all of this out but um yeah we have to get get this new renderer set up first before that happens so yeah this is very basic uh, please don't look at this and assume that this is how the game's gonna look this 
far, far from done. It's just another major step we're taking to ensuring that visual quality is going to be up to standard. You know, there's still going to be some issues with the light fading through here, but yeah, it's just going to take time to fix all that. But that's basically most of what I wanted to show you. It's pretty major steps on the other things I can't really, I don't understand them to be able to explain them to you. So, um, yeah, you can take a look at the repository yourself if you understand that. But yeah, other than that, we're just moving slowly in the right direction. And um, if you want to contribute to this project, but you don't have any technical skills, just spread the word about it. You know, it really helps us. The more people hear about it, the higher the chances that someone will like to volunteer to work on it. And uh, the faster we can complete this, because at this rate, you know, we are making progress. It's just going to take us uh, a long time to, to get to where we really want to be. But hey, we're having a blast and it's fun. So uh, we're not going to stop anytime soon on this. And yeah, I know there's... I know the lots are broken, so like, don't roast me in the comments. I can fix that easily. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this, and um, uh, looking forward to see what this this project turns out to to be in the future. You know, it's gonna be definitely gonna be interesting. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one.